G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So the other day I cleaned out a tank and that and somebody inboxed me and asked me for a bit more information on the vacuum that I used. So today I'm going to do a bit of a detailed video on my um, tank vacuum. Slight disclaimer on this vacuum, it won't work if you've got substrate. Um, I have tried to adapt it for a substrate tank but um, it just sucks way too much water to get that perfect level where it lifts the substrate and then drops it. Um, so this is only really good for bare bottom tanks. Um, obviously you can make the same thing as I've got but with a smaller hose and um, it'll work. And also I will mention the jar changer does come with an attachment to make a smaller version of what I'm about to show you. Alright guys, so we'll start from the tip. This is a piece of 25mm pipe. Um, I can't remember what the term is, 25, like the standard um, plumbing pipe. I can't remember the term, it's 25mm and then it's like three letters. Can't remember what the letters are, but in Bunnings, you know, 25mm pipe. Um, that's probably like 400 millimeters long. Um, then this is a standard 25 mil millimeter coupler. Um, I can kind of, you can see the barcode there. Um, if you wanted to Google the part, you could pause that and get the barcode. So that is an absolutely standard one. There's nothing special about this coupler. Then, this from Bunnings is 32mm grey water hose. Now you guys know I love this hose. I mentioned it in the video the other day when I was using this. So this hose will actually glue straight into a 25mm coupler. Now don't get confused. I, I don't understand how the numbers work. Somebody in the comments might be able to answer why. But this coupler is a cold, colder 25 millimeter coupler, but this grey water hose is called a 32 millimeter grey water hose. I don't know if it's like some sort. Of, uh, uh, I haven't got a tape measure on it. I don't know if it's like internal diameter versus out external diameter. Um, like to me, that's about 32 millimeters external, so that would make sense. Um, to me, that still looks bigger than 25 millimeters internal. But I don't have, well, we've got, uh, so you guys aren't going to be able to see that well. This is a 20 millimeter um, suction cup, which we've learned recently. Uh, I would say the internal of that is like 28 millimeters. So um, no idea why that's called 25 millimeters. Maybe somebody in the comments will know. So then we go from that hose to that. That's glued in with standard PVC glue. I've never had one of these let go. Um, they, you can pull them apart on purpose, but they don't just fall out. So then I've got like uh, 80 centimeters to a meter of pipe, another standard 25 millimeter coupler, and then we've got uh, 300 mil of PVC pipe, and then 300, and then the 25 millimeter tap. That one's got no product number on it, I can't show you. Another uh, 300 mil of PVC pipe. In, in, rep, in, what's the word? In hindsight, I could have made this a bit shorter, but not too much, maybe like 150 mil, 150 mil. The reason for that is, when you're holding this end in the water with one hand, you can put this pipe against your body and turn the tap. Um, these taps are quite hard to turn, um, so basically, I think that makes sense to you guys. That that piece of straight pipe is purely to turn the tap. Um, it's a necessity in this water chain, in this vacuum, I reckon. So then, another standard 25 millimeter coupler, PVC glue. Um, I think it's called PVC cement, not glue. And then 
that goes to another pipe. Now this pipe here, I've probably got like 20 meters on it. It was originally 30 meter pipe, but I, I always keep cutting the end off it for projects. Um, you can see like right behind me there, there's actually, where is it? There. There. No. There. Behind that light, there's actually a piece of this pipe. Um, I cut heaps of these up and then I get frustrated with myself when I haven't got a long length. Um, so that's the construction of it. So let me show you how it works. Alright, so now we just take all the lids off this tank. Vacuuming a divided tank can be a pain in the bum. I could take the dividers out and then um, vacuum it and then try to separate them all, but I think that would be more of a pain. This tank I have to vacuum like once a week, so um, this is just my quickest way of doing it. So now what I do, right, hopefully I can explain this properly. Well, it's not hard to explain. So you have the tap open, so that's open like that. And then put the, put the hose in the water, flower horns chucking the shits, and then see all the bubbles coming out. Now you've got to hold the hose under the water so the whole hose is submerged up until almost the tap. So now, this is the hard part. Try and hold that pipe with that hand. So now see I've got one hand free. And then turn this tap off. Got to remember the correct way to turn it. So now, keeping this end under water. I so now this is the bit where that square pipe comes in handy. Holding that under water, you can't see, but basically I have to hold it down as low as you can against your leg and turn that tap on. So I don't know if you can hear that, but now we've got the siphon going and we can back this tank. So, with, so basically with the flower horn tanks, I don't try and get 100% of the crap. I probably try and get 70%. Because one thing you gotta remember is this is on automatic water changes, so I don't wanna do like a 50% water change as well as the automatic water change. So I pretty much just get it like that. I don't know if you guys can see the bottom of that that well. Um, so now, turn the tap off, lift this over, the next divider, turn the tap back on. And I think, I hope that really illustrates that for you why I've got that straight piece of pipe on there. Um, obviously guys, if you've seen the gyre changer, it, it's the exact same principle. Hold the gyre changer under the water and do the same thing. And then just back away. Like I said, this tank here, I'm not losing sleep over every little bit of dirt. Just bit by bit. And also, when you're going across, it doesn't really matter if you get a bit of air in the pipe, because um, the whole hose is full of water. Um, it sucks that air through pretty easily. Uh, the only time I will say to stress about trying not to get air in it, if you're vacuuming a tank, that is close to the ground. So say you've got a three tier rack and you're vacuuming the bottom tank. You want to try and keep the air out of that pipe. So like holding it up. So when you, when you come across, if you lift it like that and then keep that up and then put it in the next, ta next tank, you'll get less air. Anyway guys, I'm going to wrap that one up there. Um, let me know what you think. It's honestly, what one of my favorite tools in the fish room. In fact, it's one of my only tools in the fish room. So, I do have, I've got this one and then I've got the mini version on the gyre changer, which I use as well um, on the fry tanks. Obviously, this one I can't use with little fry, but I think if anybody who's got a bare bottom tank, it's a no-brainer to make one of these. The other thing is, um, this grey water hose comes in a 30 metre roll, so um, it, you would only have to cut off like less than a metre and you would have a 29 metre hose, so 
if you don't have a wet floor like me and you need to drain it out in the garden, 30 meters is a bloody long way. So this hose is the best thing you can buy if you own a fish room. Um, I'm just going to drum it into your heads. <laughs> it's not sponsored at all. Obviously, I'm not sponsored by Bunnings, but uh, I like this hose almost as much as I like extreme aquatic fish foods. Like that little plug there, that was a bit cheeky, wasn't it? Anyway, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. We're about 75 subscribers away from $200 Amazon gift card giveaway. Um, any subscriber can win. All you've got to do is hit that red button. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.